Hey guys, Jamie here at Laurel Ranch. Thought I would bring you a quick update on what we're doing for today. So the guys are out here at the barn. Um, I enjoy my Saturdays. <laughs> I get to sleep in on the weekends um, because I do morning chores uh, during the week while Sean works. And so Saturdays and Sundays, um, I sleep in and it's glorious. And obviously not as much on Sundays because we go to church and sometimes our daughter is serving and so she has to be there early. But um, for the most part, I still get to sleep in. So it's better than during the week. <laughs> but, so the guys are out here getting some work done on some gutters and I'm gonna turn it around and show you what they've got going on. I love how much they love the mother tree. Okay. So here we go. We're working on these gutters right here in the front. So this half of the barn has to go one direction and that half of the barn has to go the other direction because the barn is so long. Great problem to have, but a little bit difficult when actually putting them up. Not difficult, but just annoying more than anything. Thank you, Daisy, for peeing at my feet. So they've been at work this morning for a couple hours putting up Daisy, stop. She makes it difficult to film. Um, basically, the back gutters go to the water catchment. And eventually these will as well. Not the huge tanks, but um, smaller tanks. But right now we just need diversion for rain. Hey, Smokey. Um, because when it rains, this kind of goes back in. You can see where Zeke is laying right there. That whole front part of these stalls gets wet and we really need the animals to be able to get out of the weather and they can, it's just not as easy when the front half of your stall is wet. As normal, Cade's out here on Saturdays helping us. Um, so work goes a little bit faster. So as you can see, they're working on that downspout right now and it's just going down to divert the water. Um, I think these gutters are just ones that we got like at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, nothing fancy, um, but it's the barn, so it doesn't have to be. It just needs to do the job. So we got those and something we can install ourselves. As you can see. So we have a station over here where they're cutting and fitting them together. And then up here, they're actually attaching them. Now eventually we'd like to get the downspout to run and pipe it underground along the corral fence and then out here by the tree, um, if not further out in the pasture, so the animals can have access to water out there. So if we ever needed to close anybody here in the corral, we could do that without uh, blocking everybody else off from the water that's up here at the barn. This is how we uh, go about putting up guttering when <laughs> we have multiple stalls in the corral. We work over uh, from one to the other, but so far it's looking good. They got that half up with the downspout on, so they'll easily get this finished today, knock on wood, and uh, hopefully just in time before we get a bunch of other rain. Okay, so, Gabe. What? Any uh, words of wisdom that you would share with our viewers on, on DIYing the gutters? Yes. Uh, the main thing that we've learned that we would do differently is next time we would hire somebody. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> so. It doesn't look like it's difficult. No, we did, we did find out. They make the, like, the seams that you can put here. Um, on these 10 foot sections. And what we found out is that that made it really weak and then it would bend. So instead what we did on the seams is we over, we're overlapping and right here we're not doing it, but over there you can see on that one, we overlapped by like a foot or two. And you just have to cut off part of the top gutter oh, to get it to sit right in there nicely. But then you can put screws in and that overlap, it makes it nice and solid and you don't have weak spots where the water is going to gather um, right because there. it's not solid and straight. 
and we just overlap it in a sense where the the water's flowing this way like right now it's flowing left to right so this one's on top so we still used the glue in there and we overlapped them and put screws in but the water's going to flow that way so it's not going to come back on the seam and you're not going to have water leaking right there so that that's the main thing that seemed to work a lot better than trying to use the little <clears throat> uh, seam sealers that they put in there because it just creates a weak spot and it's really it, you get these dips and then the water gathers there okay that's about it awesome have a great day